Hey peeps, guess where I'm at today? Yes, the new house. They are here doing inspections. So if you see a lot of guys in the background, wherever I'm at, it's because inspections are happening today. So that's why we're able to film today before we move in. So anyways, come on inside, let's see. So I love this area, it's so cool, it's so me. Um, you know, as you have always seen on some of my videos, especially on my stories, I'm always out by the pool doing my zen, doing my manifestation, my meditation. It's my quiet time, my pool time. So I'm gonna have the same kind of area here. It's very secluded, I love it, love it, love it. It's gonna be great when I have parties and everything. So let's go inside. The entry, how pretty it is. My broker's in the background. <laughs> Working away. Yay, 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 yay. This, this house is so, so me, like so me. So there's a powder bathroom. Of course, there's an elevator right here, I believe. It's up on the second floor right now. Stairs, lots and lots of windows, very airy. Don't mind all of our purses and everything. Um, actually, the neighborhood just lost power, but the generator kicked on, so we have power during our inspections. <laughs> so don't mind me being barefooted. I had my new Dior tennis shoes on today, and now I've already got blisters. <laughs> so this is a really cool area. This is gonna be so useful for us because we love to entertain. And so this is gonna be amazing. It's an amazing bar area, pub area. Um, cannot wait to put my artwork on the walls. It's gonna be so pretty. Of course, you've got the very modern kitchen area. Not that I cook a lot, but you have to have a gorgeous kitchen in a house. And this one is very gorgeous. So unfortunately, some of the lights aren't on because the generator's on. Um, the gorgeous living area. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love, love, love the high ceilings. It's so incredible, so incredible. So here we are. Oh my gosh. My interior decorator. How are you? Another project going on? <laughs> so. Tom and Anderson from Circle A. And Teresa Romer, <laughs> the famous <laughs> Teresa Romer. <laughs> Movie Let's star. See. Movie how, star. I, yeah, Teresa Romer, movie star. That's Let's how I'm in his phone. Movie how star. many projects is this now for us? <laughs> a lot. A lot. Well, I can see our first tackle right so now. So we're already going to re, re, recover the project. Yeah. So. That is so not Teresa. Okay, so let's see the rest. Let's go in the house. You know this plaster, right? Right, and she, yeah. Isn't that pretty? Love it. I pretty much studied this for the pictures, but it's very true to pictures. Okay, so something I want to be able to do, and we're going to get house plans so that we can see if we can do it, is over here. Okay. There's a closet in a closet. Okay, before we get there, yeah. definitely Dorothy Hood here, the big yeah. Dorothy Hood piece. Yeah, this is where the Dorothy Hood's going to go. Okay. I love your Dorothy Hood. As long as it's enough room, and I think well, there got, is. We got it. So that bookcase comes out, right. and there's a hidden area. Right. My thought, because on the other side of this wall is a storage area for the bar. So we'll push all the way through. I want to walk through. So I want to create an opening to put right. this door here, right. tear this whole wall out, right. and do massive shelves for storage. Right. This is a big storage closet. And I want to open all of this up to be so able to walk. So we have a nice flow all the Sweet way through. Sweet flow, just like so, in my house. So let's go on the other side and see yeah, where it comes so anyways, out. Anyways, I'm just saying, this can get opened up over to here, because that's where the wall is. As we always say, there's nothing money can't fix. <laughs> so I wanted you to see that, because that's right. a vision I have right there. And then we're going to go this way. Powder bath in here, elevator here. Nice open area. So this is the bar area. 
And this is that storage area that I was talking about that literally you can break through. Outerbach here. I thought you wanted the Teresa Romer Texas royalty picture. Oh, the Outerbach, one or the other, and then the black and white for sure here. Yeah. Okay. Oh, this is perfect. This can stay here. Right. This can go away if we need it to, right. but we, we can, can still it. go through right. so that this flows. I don't need... And then we, we cased opening this. Take the door completely off and get Right. It. Yeah. But I want it to flow. Yeah. I no, want to build a walk. Completely. So that when we have events, everything's not bottlenecked over there, that it can still flow this direction too. Like we did the other house when we pushed right. out the back. Right. So this is the bar area. Love. It's really pretty. Love this. Nice pub setting. Nice for entertaining. Yeah, very reminiscent of what you have in the bar at the other house. Or Texas Royal Texas Royal Texas could go there. Or over there. I think it's going to fit better here. You know, the length. It's, you know, it's the biggest one Giddings ever produced. Right. The black and white, white might look there. That's another place for the black and white. Mm -hmm. So, this is the living area. Very tall ceilings in here. Of course, over here we could do the do two Dorothy Hood stacked over here. Or if we can get them large enough matted, they could go over here. Or they could stack here. Yeah, depending on. Anyways, um, living room, kitchen. That's a really important area right there. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's that awesome. kind of, yeah, white yeah, that might be where it goes to lead your eye in. Like. So this was the, this is that area that I want to turn more into. We're going to absolutely gut most of this, right? This is the area that I want to put massive cabinetry in. So it becomes more of a butler's pantry. Because this is useless to me. Right, so tear out all the shelves. Mm -hmm. Do the glass top cases, very similar to what we've done at the other house. Light and store all that. And then the bottom, fill in that section at the bottom on this side so you have the open area on this side for mm -hmm. sit down. Okay, love that. Laundry room with lots of space. And then this is a small pantry. Oops, sorry. Which is fine. Well, you'll fill that up in five seconds. <laughs> Going into the master bathroom area. Toilet area, tub area. Love the shower, love the floor. Isn't that cool? Uh -huh. Rock. You've got two doorways leading into the master, which I believe this will all become Lamar's. Because I'm going to show you what I want upstairs. This will fit him. Yeah, so this will be great for him. And we're either going to possibly break through right here. Right. And I'm going to show you what I'm talking about when we get up there. Elevator comes up right here. This will become Lamar's man cave. So we've got some construction to do here. Mm-hmm. So I'll tear out the cabinetry probably so that we can easily put four or five TVs there. This is the main consideration. Well, I was thinking, I don't know if we necessarily have to tear it all out, just take the doors off and just put shelves. And then you could have, because I have some books that I need to bring, but I want to create some kind of a bar here. Right. So I don't, I don't miss, you know, these are glass shelves. I think it's going to be a walk-up bar though, don't you? What? Don't you want to walk up to the back bar? I think you just, I want the bar to be here with some bar stools. This will be how, this will have liquor on it. Liquor and glasses and stuff back here. So I want some kind of a, even if the bar is no wider than this, or just a tad bit wider, and have a few bar stools. Flat and stone and just build a cabinet to go there. 
So I'm just saying, I right. just want this. And like I said, even if we don't tear this out, if we just take the doors off and put glass shelves in here so that I can create some kind of a li little library. Okay. Let me draw something. Now this is where the magic starts. So this can be part of the closet. Right. Okay, we can do something in here. This goes into the big part of the closet. This goes into the big part of the closet. This space is way bigger than you think. Oh, it's big. It's huge. It's huge. Now I got a secret. Okay. Come Get here. this door open. And that goes into. Watch. Come here. See all of this area? Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. And you see all this area over here. I don't want this to be any part of the closet, but right. what I want you to know and see is that I can still lay some more plyboard, but this can be all storage, storage for the party stuff. Right. So I don't have to go get a storage unit. Perfect. The Christmas stuff will go down to Houston. Right. But this will be my party room. party room. Yeah, perfect. This will all be. But what I love about this is. I didn't know we had this extra little thing. I didn't either till today when I got back here. But I'm like, oh my God, this can be more closet. It's already heavily insulated. Right. So all we'd have to do is do a little bit of insulating on these side walls. Right. Sheet rock it. Well, that's a piece of cake. But look, more closet. <laughs> and then this massive huge area. Now, whether we make this the area that comes into this, or whether we come through a doorway over here. And then step because out. this is a bigger step. Right. Because when you look right here, well, actually, you know what? It might be even Steven. That level to that level. You might make your grand entrance into that level from this level. I don't know. But I'm just saying, I've got that little area, I've got that big area. So tell me where this goes. So this goes down to the garage. Yeah, just let's, and we want to leave yet. No, 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 I want to tell you. So this goes down to a landing right. and stairs down to the garage. Right. Somewhere, I need to be able to break through. So when we stepped off the closet, right and we stepped off the garage, right when you get outside this last set of stairs where the door is to the garage, is about where that mirror is in that closet. I need the house plans. I know, we're, we're, we're in the process. As soon as we get those, that'll... But what do you think for a closet? Uh, I think this is gonna be great. In a lot of ways, I think this will function even better than what we had before. So I'm actually gonna increase the square footage of right. the house. Right. But I think you have more room to have more seating up here, you know, like for the girls. Mm -hmm. The way this is lined up, we can do seating in the center. Mm -hmm. So you can still have functions here. I like, I like a lot. I wanted you to see this room. Cause I couldn't believe that extra, that extra is a deal. Changer. No, this, this is like, but see, the reason I didn't want to go this way is because I need this walkway to still be able to get to the storage. Right. So I'm thinking about putting a wall up here so this door only goes to storage. And this is walled off, so this room only can go into that room, which can go to that room. Or else I have to create a different walkway. I think we should create a different wall because I think we want this room to be able to look into that room visually, stand down here. If you come down here, if we move a little bit more of this wall and open it up, you know so what? you can see into that room more. You might be able to put a doorway. Until we get the house plans, we're not gonna know, but right. visually, I think you want this room to be able to see up into that room if it's a glass rail or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the, the question is, do we move that further to this wall? Mm -hmm. So all that's on one level and you come down and come through it in here. Do we change it and do the opposite? But until we get the house plans and see so how everything goes. You're saying falls. make that opening 
Yeah, case that opening big. Over here. Right. So we see up into there. So you can see. And, and then it walks up into there. But I don't think you want to miss the the openness of seeing into that second space of the room, even if it's through a glass rail. I think that's too important. Yeah. We just have to figure out a way to get to right. storage. We're masters of that. Even if you took those mirrors off. Right. And created a door over there. That's when we have to get the plans. And that'll tell us everything. Structurally, too. But today when I got here and saw that space, I was like... Oh, my God. Game changer. No. Like, this is huge. So I don't need to have any of that no, space that's downstairs. All Lamar. That's just all Lamar. This is all me up here. That's why I said I needed you to see this room. Because this is like... Unbelievable. Massive. This could end up being bigger than my other closet. Or function, and more, function actually better. And more high tech. Right. <laughs> so down here, I want to build more cabinets here. I want to build cabinets up here, down here, up here. All and the way across. All the way across here. Right. So I will have plenty of storage in this place by the time I'm done adding cabinets. And we could actually hang out to here at the top, like we did without going all the way over. I don't need it. Just, I mean, but big pieces going in. We'll have the structure. I don't want it to be. No, but we'll have the structure from here. I don't want to be able to have a walkway because. Right. I, but I'm just talking about the top. This can come out to Lamar's here. Lamar's taller than us. He's not taller than that door. Well, no. Okay, well, so from that door height all the way across out to right here, and then we can get big pieces this way stored up on top. I think I'm going to have that many big pieces. Uh, Plus, I got the upstairs. Look I at have. that attic space I have for storage. Okay, I'll remind you that. I just want most of my catering kitchen shit to be able to be stored out here. Because this is where the caterers are going to be. The party shit will go upstairs. This will be catering kitchen crap. Okay. Lamar should be stopping by any minute. Do you happen to have a phone charger by any chance? Oh my god, Teresa thinks of everything. I know you do. I know you do. Look at this. She has snacks. I mean... <laughs> I oh can't, Teresa. You're making me look bad. Girl? Teresa's always prepared. I'm always on it. She is. Uh, she's, she's, amazing. Always she's amazing. Need. I never cease to be amazed. Where's there a plug in around this bar? Okay. What's nice that you can't find it? Vidalia. Why don't you have one of these for me? You get them on Amazon. Overnight it from Amazon. I need this in my life. She thinks of everything. You're so lucky. <laughs> she gets every, every piece of junk that they ever take. <laughs> so as soon as I get the house plans, I will send them to, to me you and we will start. start. We'll start going. We'll start doing everything. Okay, yeah. one more. Yeah. Another one down. Okay. Drive safe. I will. So the suspension airbags in the front of the rolls are not working. Supposedly it's just a communication problem with the communicator that talks to the airbags. They don't really think it's an airbag issue, they think it's the communicator. So for some reason the car is not communicating with the airbags that it needs to raise it up. So consequently the car is sitting on the tires so we can't drive it to get it repaired the flatbed is going to have to take it for us. So, just another day in my wonderful world. <laughs>so that the tires don't actually have to move, I guess. This is gonna be fun to watch. I've never seen this happen before. But this is why you hire the best people to do this shit, so it doesn't hurt your car. So let's, let's see how this happens. So what's so interesting about that is it's got the wheels up off the ground. So literally, of course we didn't get it on film because we're all pushing, but literally we were able to just 
push the car off to the side to get it lined up with the truck because the wheels weren't touching because they don't want the wheels to turn because the wheels are going to screw up the fender wells. So that's interesting, right? You see that? And he had the he had the steering wheel seat belted so that you, it wouldn't turn. Uh, you're selling my secrets. You're selling my secrets. <laughs> That's cool. So guys, what a day. <laughs> what a day. Oh my God, oh my God. So in the midst of trying to pack and do everything that we're trying to do, I got a message that I needed to film today for a project that we're working on. So I had to stop, get immediately glammed up in the middle of packing. You can clearly see that we are in the midst of all of the artwork that has been taken down off the walls that's being stored in my dining room that's got to get all bubble wrapped and everything. But yeah, so in the middle of trying to pack and tell everybody what, to has, you know, what has to be done, what has to go where, whatever, I have to stop and get glammed up to film for this project. So. There's never a dull moment in my day, right? <laughs> I didn't know I was gonna have to film. So anyways, um, gonna kick off the high hills and get back to packing. But I hope you're enjoying this vlog so far. We're going to capture every single day. You're gonna, you're gonna be with us every step of the way. And as you can clearly see from the video, there's gonna be a new closet. We're so excited. And I think it's gonna be even bigger. So. I hope you guys are enjoying everything. We're having fun filming everything and bringing you along. I, I love having you guys feel like you're right here with me, other than helping do the physical labor of packing. <laughs> you're sitting on the couch relaxed. So anyways, guys, look forward to the next vlog. We're bringing it to you in another day or so. So make sure you're following me, turn that notification bell on, and until next time, bye-bye.